love you. I'm I love you. And I love to try it. In the summer of 2011, I spent about two weeks in a country that was totally foreign to me. It was Thailand. The first four days, my family spent in the north of Thailand, around the city of Chiang Mai. On our last night, our tour guide took us to a restaurant, which I will never forget. I've traveled around the world and been to so many countries, but this restaurant was something. It was different. The smells, the sights, and the authentic cuisine will stay with me forever because I have never experienced this moment before. Through food, this experience has opened me up to new ways of thinking and new perceptions. And when I came back to America, my relationship with food would change. All of a sudden, food is not one-dimensional anymore. Through this experience, I see that food can be a form of expression, an identity that in some ways mirrors me. We sat at the restaurant by ourselves. No tourists in sight. Music played and there was plenty of dancing. The food that was brought out was quite unusual for I have never feasted my eyes on such delicacies. Basically the only thing I recognized was carrots and lettuce. It made me realize that although I have traveled to a lot of countries in the world, I have not experienced it all. Through the food, I learned something new about myself. That I would try food that I've never seen before. That I'm such an adventurous person. Traveling, experiencing new things, that is my identity. And this identity was shown in the new food. Because of this experience, a newfound sense of adventurousness has appeared. At our Arthur Avenue trip, I tried the Burek, which had spinach, which I usually don't like. But I was adventurous, so I tried it anyway, and boy, was it really good.